I've just been coming in every day, just working hard every day, just staying focused and just keep pushing every day. Is everybody working at both outside spots or is there a little more kind of towards one spot for guys? Uh, I mean, we got multiple. We got two. We got a Sam and a Jack. So, I mean, it depends on different packages. It's, it depends on who go in and who go out. So, it's really uh, like that. How would you kind of – what do you think of this crew? Is this a crew that's going to be – kind of a get out the backfield, get out the quarterback group, or is it a group that can be pretty versatile and, yes, sir. and run, stop, and pass coverage too? Yes, sir. I think this is a group that we can wreak havoc this season and just do damage to different teams. That's that's what I think we could do. Kirby talked about how the, you're playing the Sugar Bowl kind of aided you in the spring. I mean, from your perspective, how much did that little bit of experience at the end of the season after your injury be act as a springboard for what you might be able to do this season? I think it was a great experience for me going out there, playing a big game, had an opportunity to show what I could do, and just get better from that game as the season come along. When did you find out you were going to do the media interviews today? Uh, I found out like in the middle of the day. Yeah. Have you done one like this before? Okay. No, sir, never. It's my first one. All right. <laughs> what was your reaction when you uh, told that? I was a little nervous at first, but I mean, I'm here now, so let's, let's do it. <laughs> Um, so in terms of the outside linebacker group, what makes you think the so-called habit will be different this year than last? You know, I mean, with the additions of Jermaine and Nolan and the depth you have there now. Oh, yeah. Uh, we just got guys that could go, that could rush, that could do whatever, that are just so valuable that are just ready to play in ball, that could do whatever they want, whatever the coach wants them to do. Do you think the idea of Havoc is created more by athletes like yourself winning one-on-one -on -one battles, or is it the kind of thing the coaching staff's going to scheme its way towards? No, nah, I don't think Havoc is just around the whole defense, just everybody getting after it. Everybody just trying to make plays and just get the win. You guys have been in full pads. The heat index has been around 100. How's it, how's it been? I mean, have you been prepped for it, or are you kind of still getting used to being in full pads in the heat? Oh, yeah, man. Our conditioning staff do a great job. They prep as well, so we are just out there pushing through it. Ignoring the heat, just getting after it every day. Anybody impressed you on the offensive side of the ball? It looked like there were some referees out there today. On the offensive side of the ball, me, you know, I'm going against Andrew Thomas every day, uh, Isaiah Wilson, just getting after it every day, them two, just a great offensive tackles. Is that frustrating going against Andrew Thomas every day? <laughs> I mean, it's not frustrating because I know I'm getting better every day, so I know they're helping the whole group, the whole team gets to get better every day, so it's a, it's a blessing. Is that more of a physical challenge of you got to get around a big guy, or is that more of a mental challenge of the strategy that you use to do that? I mean, what's it like in that one-on-one -on -one situation? What do you find the most taxing about that? I believe it could be both because you can stop the run, you can convert the pass, so it's either you just got to man up and play. How has your body changed in terms of uh, either weight or strength since uh, the bowl game? Well, I have gained like a good 10 to 15 pounds thanks to the strength coach and the strength staff to just help me develop. And get bigger and stronger. What do you weigh now? 250. Was last season like for you where you, I think you played in the middle of the Tennessee State game, so obviously your knew was, was clear to play that, but also, you know, the coaching staff sort of took it slow with you and obviously retroed you that season. Well, I was just kept my head down, plus just kept working, just do whatever I could do for the team to get better and just help the team out that season. Um, how much does it help you guys to have Jarvis uh, Jones around? Oh, yeah, it's a blessing to have Jarvis around. He's played here, great player here, great outside linebacker. It's just a blessing to have him around the room, just teaching us different moves, just helping us out and develop as a player. Monty's, uh, and I guess he's the voice of the, the defense. Tell us a little bit about what Monty's like in the huddle. We get him out here, and he's very stoic. He doesn't say a whole lot. Yeah, more Monty, man, he's a great player. He's vocal. He, he gets everybody to call. He knows. He just... Gets his right and everything going. Does he for talk, I mean, beyond the call, will he will he say more stuff? I mean, is he a fire you up kind of get in your grill kind of guy, or is he pretty much business out there? I mean, Monty could be whatever you whatever you want to be. I mean, he's physical. He he can fire you up. He gets you going. He just like he leads the defense. He's one of our leaders, so we just follow him. Did you watch? Sorry. Did you watch Georgia football when Jarvis was playing? I watched a little bit. I mean. I know, I mean, Jarvis, Alec Ogletree, the inside linebacker, those boys are different. <laughs> the boys are good. <laughs> the boys are good, man. man having somebody like Jarvis, he obviously has been through the board, been part of the program here, had a success in, on the next level. But you're playing under somebody like that who's kind of been through all that. What does that do for you guys for making y'all want to be better? 
Can you, can you repeat that? No, I just having being able to work with somebody in Java Jones with that experience that he's had and collegially and professional. What does that do for a guy like yourself to play that same position? Oh, it's just just blessing to have him because he he knows what he he been through everything. He knows how it goes. He helps us on a rush. He helps us how to new techniques, things to do. So it was just it's just a blessing to have him. How much does he know that he can help y'all with that y'all don't yet know yet on like technique and the mechanics of the position? He knows a lot, man. He's a great player, player here. He knows a lot. So it's just like learning from him is just just great because you learn new things every day.